Listen, I've been around the world a few times, eaten my weight in questionable yakitori, and drank enough sake to float a battleship. Then I stumbled upon Hakodate, a port town in Japan, rough around the edges with a soul that grabs you by the throat. And the best part, you don't need a trust fund to explore it. We're talking real deal, down and dirty, budget-friendly adventures. Grab your yen, pack light, and let's get lost in the back alleys and hidden gems of Hakodate. The air here is thick with the smell of the sea, freshly caught seafood hitting the wooden stalls before the sun even rises. It's a symphony of bartering, laughter, and the sizzle of squid grilling on open flames. This is the Hakodate Morning Market and has been the lifeblood of this city for centuries. Bowls of steaming ramen, piled high with the day's catch, will set you back a few yen. Walk the narrow aisles, let the chaos wash over you. This is where fishermen have hawked their wares for generations. Don't be afraid to get your hands dirty to try something new. It's a reminder that the best things in life are often the simplest. Forget your fancy cable cars and tourist traps. The real way to experience Mount Hakodate is to earn your view. Hike the winding trails through ancient forests, breathe in the crisp mountain air. The trail is dotted with shrines and temples, each one a testament to the enduring spirit of this place. Take your time, savour the journey. It's about the climb, the struggle, the feeling of accomplishment when you reach the summit. And then, the view. Hakodate sprawls before you, a tapestry of water and light. As the sun dips below the horizon, you'll understand why this view is worth every bead of sweat. From up here, the world looks different. The sprawling star-shaped fortress of Goryo Kaku, a relic of a bygone era, is laid bare before you. Walk the ramparts, imagine the clash of swords, the roar of cannons. But Goryo Kaku is more than just a fortress. It's now a vibrant park, bursting with life and colour. It's a testament to the resilience of the human spirit, our ability to find beauty and hope even in the darkest of places. This isn't your manicured, sterile park. Hakodate Park is a wild, untamed beast. A riot of colour and sound. Monkeys swing through the trees. Peacocks strut their stuff. Children's laughter echoes through the air. Find a bench beneath the shade of a willow tree. Close your eyes, eyes, and just breathe. It's a place where you can lose yourself for an afternoon, discovering hidden shrines and statues. The Hakodate City Museum is a trip through time a journey into the heart and soul of this fascinating city. From ancient Ainu artefacts to Edo period relics, each exhibit tells a story. You can practically smell the salt air of the fishing boats, hear the clang of the blacksmith's hammer. Imagine the lives of the people who came before you, the struggles they endured, the triumphs they celebrated. This museum is a reminder that Hakodate isn't just a city, it's a living, breathing entity. This is where time stands still. Walking through the streets of the Motomaki district is like stepping back into the 19th century. Grand old churches stand shoulder to shoulder with traditional Japanese houses. Stroll up the steep hills, past charming cafes and antique shops. As you climb higher, the view opens up to reveal the harbour, a sparkling jewel nestled between the hills. It's a view that has captivated travellers for centuries. Take your time, soak it all in. These weathered red brick buildings have seen it all. Once a bustling hub of trade and commerce, Kainamori Red Brick Warehouse now stands as a monument to Hakodate's industrial past. Walk through the echoing halls, imagine the clatter of machinery, the shouts of workers. Today, the warehouses have been transformed into a vibrant complex of shops, restaurants and art galleries. But the spirit of the past still lingers, a reminder of the sweat and toil that built the city. Grab a coffee, browse the boutiques and let the history of this place wash over you. Escape the city and immerse yourself in the raw beauty of Onuma Quasi National Park. Volcanic peaks pierce the sky, reflected in the still waters of the lake. Rent a bike and explore the network of trails that wind through the forest. In the fall, the trees explode in a riot of colour, painting the landscape in hues of gold, crimson and russet. Onuma Quasi National Park is a testament to the fact that you don't need to travel far to find beauty. This grand old building, perched atop a hill overlooking the city, is a testament to Hakodate's rich history. The old public hall of Hakodate Ward, with its elegant facade and ornate interiors, is like a time capsule. Walk the polished wooden floors. Imagine the grand balls and political meetings that once took place within these walls. Gaze out the windows at the sprawling city below and imagine Hakodate as it once was. The old public hall of Hakodate Ward is more than just a building. It's a symbol of the city's past, present and future. There's nothing quite like a soak in a traditional Japanese onsen to soothe your soul. And at Yunokawa Onsen, you can experience this ancient ritual surrounded by breathtaking natural beauty. Let the mineral-rich waters melt away your stress as you gaze out at the Pacific Ocean. Don't be shy, strip down to your birthday suit and embrace the experience. 
Afterward, wrap yourself in a yukata and sip on a cold green tea, feeling your worries melt away with the steam rising from the baths. High on a hill overlooking the city, the Trappistone Monastery stands as a beacon of peace and tranquility. This working monastery, home to a community of silent monks, offers a glimpse into a world of quiet contemplation and spiritual devotion. Wander the peaceful grounds, admire the simple beauty of the chapel, and let the silence wash over you. The monks here live a life of prayer and work, their days filled with simple routines and quiet reflection. The Trappisto Monastery is a place where you can reconnect with your spiritual side and find a sense of peace that you can carry with you long after you leave. The Hakodate Saichi Morning Market is a sensory overload, a riot of sights, sounds and smells. From freshly caught seafood to locally grown produce, this market has it all. Wander the stalls, sample the exotic fruits and marvel at the sheer variety of goods on offer. This is where Hakodate comes to life each morning, a place where locals and tourists mingle. The Hakodate Saichi Morning Market is an experience you won't soon forget. Perched on the edge of the peninsula, Cape Tachimashi offers breathtaking views of the Suguru Strait and the rugged coastline. The wind whips through your hair as you gaze out at the vast expanse of the ocean. Hike the coastal trails, breathe in the salty air, and watch the fishing boats bobbing in the distance. As the sun dips below the horizon, painting the sky in hues of orange and purple, you'll understand why this is one of Hakodate's most beloved spots. Cape Tachimashi is a reminder that the most beautiful things in life are often the simplest. Step into a world of lush greenery and exotic blooms at the Hakodate Tropical Botanical Garden. This hidden gem offers a welcome escape from the city streets, a chance to immerse yourself in the beauty of nature. Wander through the steamy greenhouses, marvel at the vibrant orchids, and listen to the soothing sounds of the waterfall. Don't miss the monkey enclosure, where a troop of playful primates will keep you entertained with their antics. The Hakodate Tropical Botanical Garden is a reminder that beauty can be found in the most unexpected of places. For the best views in Hakodate, hop aboard the Hakodate ropeway and prepare to be amazed. As you ascend Mount Hakodate, the city sprawls beneath you, a tapestry of twinkling lights and bustling streets. On a clear day, you can see for miles all the way to the Suguru Strait and the distant mountains of Honshu. As the sun begins its descent, casting a warm glow over the city, the view becomes truly magical. Whether you're a seasoned traveler or a first time visitor, a ride on the Hakodate ropeway is an experience you won't want to miss. It's a chance to see Hakodate from a whole new perspective. Step back in time at the Hakodate Magistrate's Office, a beautifully preserved building that offers a glimpse into Hakodate's past. This former government building, with its tatami mats, sliding doors and traditional Japanese architecture, is like stepping into a history book. Wander through the rooms, imagine the important decisions that were made here, and learn about Hakodate's role in the development of modern Japan. It's a fascinating look at the city's past, and a reminder of how far it has come don't miss the chance to try on a traditional Japanese kimono or to participate in a tea ceremony. Escape the hustle and bustle of the city at Miharashi Park, a tranquil oasis perched on a hill overlooking Hakodate Bay. This hidden gem offers stunning views of the city, the harbour and the surrounding mountains. Find a bench beneath the shade of a tree, close your eyes and breathe in the fresh air. The park is also home to a variety of walking trails, making it a great place to get some exercise and enjoy the scenery. Miharashi Park is a reminder that you don't have to travel far to find peace and quiet. So there you have it. 17 ways to experience the real Hakodate without emptying your wallet. We've scaled mountains, wandered through ancient markets, and soaked in steaming onsen, all without breaking the bank. Hakodate is a city that gets under your skin and stays with you long after you've left. So what are you waiting for? Book that ticket, pack your bags, and get ready for an adventure. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to subscribe for more travel tips and adventures.